Better stop bracing. I was trying to fit that in within 10 minutes. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at me today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the tree. Where was I? Where was I? Let's get back to it. Oh, I've got the guitar as well, not. Maybe later I'll distress everyone's eardrums. Right, where was I? For children rolling a loop, for the tea ceremony, for the tea ceremony, for K Mari, for all the lesser arts and the essence of classical dance too. Classical dance, yes. <laughs> when she is distorted and has no life, neither the movement nor stillness of form, nor the community, or sorry, nor the continuity of hands and feet will be beautiful, and the performance of action and response will be obstructed. When you are forever indolent and mindless, as you grasp your weapon, and then suddenly recall that you should have been disciplining yourself in training, the chi will change, your mind will be taken by form, and your consciousness will be stopped by your performance. Thus your chi will waver, and it will be difficult to respond to unexpected situations, yeah? If you always use your mind when you train, if an event does occur, you will respond to it with no mind, yeah? Just always enliven your chi, and do not be indolent. Indolent chi is dead chi. Dead chi has no soul. Thus, you will not only be able, or sorry, thus, you will not only be unable to perform any function, but there will be many times when you are startled and made fearful by things. <laughs> when your chi fills your entire body and, in, and is enlivened together with your mind, there will be neither surprise nor fear, and it will be easy to respond to unexpected changes. Nevertheless, inconstant chi has no roots and does not exist in the truly alive. It appears to, but it is different. Yeah, this is more like it. The demon spoke further. Long ago, a certain Zen monk instructed his acolytes. He said, listen. He went, and then he went, and he went, and then he went, and then he went, and then he went, something like that. Right. But I'm, I'm disturbing some couple over there. Now we've got the police. Look, police over there. I mean, fuck the police. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. The demon spoke further. Long ago, a certain Zen monk instructed his acolytes. Hey, look. Fuck me. Look. Oh. There's two of them there. Scarabs. And I believe... They are having sex. Where are you? Some fucking wildlife program, man. Huh? Where are they? There. I know what happened. These two were having it off. 
Yeah. Hey, we're having it off. Let's get you on there. Can you see them? Can you see them there? Look. There they are. These two were having it off in the trees. Well, I think because I was doing all that kung fu, I disturbed them right when they were having a union. Isn't it, Beatles? Look. Whoa. Anyway, let's get back to where we were. Right, where were we? Weird, eh? Right. The demon spoke further. Long ago, a certain Zen monk instructed his acolytes, when you pass by a SP, a scary place, <laughs> you should expand your stomach and go right on by. Then you will not be afraid. This is indeed sound and nice, or even sound advice. Now, when you expand your stomach, your chi drops and gathers at this lower place. For a moment, chi will fill you internally and will become strong. When your chi is empty and elevated, you will be open to surprise and fear. Yeah, so say us.